If you want to make short form content to help grow your brand, but you don't want to spend too long typing up the captions, spending time on the editing, here's how I do it as a fifth year medical student, only spending around one day a week creating content for professionals. So we're going to be using CapCut, which is a free software for your Mac and PC. I reckon it can do pretty much 90% of the things I can do on Final Cut and it auto generates captions. So that's a big pro. So for short form content, it's really, really good. So first of all, import your clips. Here are the clips that we're going to use today. So we have the main footage, a video of this doctor sharing her credentials and some B-roll, which is some footage that we can lace on top of the main footage. So first of all, drag the main footage onto the timeline. If you go Command or Control Plus, you can see it more zoomed up. Then you can see the audio is a bit low. If I drag this here. If you click this and if you click play, you can see the audio goes up to minus 12 max. So the first thing you want to do is to increase the audio. So for me, I know I should increase it until it slightly peaks like this and it should reach within the minus six to minus 12 range. The thing you want the least is your video to be too quiet because if you're scrolling and you see a video that's too quiet, you don't want to really listen. You have to turn up the volume. It's too much effort for the viewer's perspective. So try to make the video between minus six to minus 12. It's not that difficult. So that's usually what I do. Then the next step is to remove the gaps from the video. So if we remove this, you can see all the gaps. So there's a gap here. So command B, drag this until it's near the start. So yeah, you have to do this for all the gaps since short form is actually quite fast paced. So I'll just do that really quickly. Okay, so now I've removed all the gaps from this video. And I was also given this piece of footage where this doctor shared her credentials, which is really good. I'd recommend sharing your credentials after a hook. So the hook of this video is here. So simple swaps for whole food plant-based or something like that. So after the hook, explaining what the video is going to be about exactly, then I recommend inserting your credentials. So if you just drag and drop that here, you can see that there's a few gaps. And then we're shortening it, removing the gaps again. And what we can do, I was given this footage as well. We can put that on top of this credential video. And this is what we call B-roll in the videography world. So if we choose the section that we want to be used, And as you can see, when you add a piece of B-roll between here and here, it's a bit more seamless because it's not a sudden change in environment like this. It goes to some sort of B-roll and then to a different environment. So after you add the credentials, something you can do is to add some music. So the website I use to get my music is audio because it's license free. I don't have to worry about copyright. If you want to get audio, then use the link in my description, but you don't need music. And if you do, there's a few things you need to know, but for the sake of this video, we'll add some music just so that if you do want music, you know how to use it. So first of all, I've imported the, the music onto my timeline and it can be barely heard. And when you use music, you want to make cuts, if you use B-roll, every time it's on beat. So we're going to add some B-roll now because if it's just a talking headshot like this, it can get a bit boring for short form. So, it's not that so we're going to listen to this video and see where we can add B-roll clips using free stock footage. To your own familiar recipes. So own familiar recipes, something that most people would eat is some sort of b-roll we could look for so meats and use lentil. so lentils so generally i'd actually write all this down on my phone mm -hmm. and then i'd go to this website called pixels.com and then you can find free stock footage it's free it's really really good and i searched up healthy food went under videos this looks like a solid video for when they say normally eat. So I might download that. 
this looks like a good video, I might download that. I just grab as much B-roll footage as possible. It doesn't matter if it's landscape. I'll show you a trick to make landscape footage look more engaging on a vertical piece of content. This looks all good. I remember we needed some lintels. If there's no videos, we can look under photos. We could use this. And mushrooms. Okay, this video looks all good, so let's download that. So you get the point. You have to look for videos that suit the the talking headshot and is relevant. So now once you have all that footage, you want to import it onto your timeline. So if we go back to CapCut, Import, B-Roll, we can import the entire folder. If we double-click this, now we have all our B-Roll that we saved from pixels.com on here. And now we want to align it. It's not that difficult. You can stick to your... And it's also good to add B-roll where there's a cut, so it kind of masks the cut a little. So this looks like regular food, so we're going to put this on top of the part where she says you can stick to your normal diet. Stick to your own familiar... And also I try to align the B-roll, the starting of the B-roll or the end of the B-roll with a beat in the music. Either that or when she says something. So command B to cut and then just delete to your and it doesn't look good like that so here's how you can make horizontal content look cool during short form so make the scale really really big and then drag it to one side and then add a keyframe so click here now you want to go to the end of your b-roll so you have to go down arrow down arrow until you go to the end and you don't see your b-roll then one frame back so left arrow then if you go negative to whatever the x, the x value was, it will bring it to the other side of the clip and you'll end up with this nice scrub effect. To your own familiar recipes, but swap out meats and use lentils. So now we can add lentils. I'm going to do the same effect. So this image, this is how you can make images look really, really good on short form. It's vertical, so we're just going to rotate it 90. Scale until it fills the screen, go to one side, same process as before, keyframe, we're going to do it until the end of this short clip, so it hides the cuts between the cuts, that didn't sound right, okay, so down arrow, left arrow, minus whatever x value that was, now it will look like this, and use lentils or other beans. so you get the point of what we're doing so far, you can add as much b-roll as you want, and now we're going to add captions. And this is why CapCut is so good, because it auto-generates captions. Back a few years ago, I manually typed out every caption, and that was such a pain. So if we go text, auto-captions, create. It will auto-generate captions for us. Okay, so captions are generated. Now, what we want to do, we want to make sure it's what we want it to look like. So for this client, I used the bold font. I made the font slightly bigger, around 11. And you can play around with stroke and glow or shadow. So if we make it bigger, that's what it could look like. You can play around with it, find a style that suits your brand. And once you have a style, then you can just copy and paste the settings. So. I don't like it when it's on three lines like this. So what I do, I go captions and then I'll separate each caption out. So between cooking and whole, if I want that on a different line, I press enter or return and it will appear on a different line now. And I can do this for the entire video to make each phrase appear on a different piece of caption so that it's more engaging when there are more pop-ups. And also I've noticed that the captions are a bit low. So if this apply to all boxes selected, we can click on the caption and drag it up slightly around here. looks good. And it would apply that for all the captions. So yeah, I'm just going to go and cut the captions up. Okay, so you get the point. And also you want to make sure that the captions appear at the right place for example there it didn't look right to me there's a big gap you want to make sure there are no gaps in your captions so actually own only starts here so 
CapCut isn't perfect. Now, something I do for the first frames, what I do, I make this slightly longer and I animate just the first caption because I want to grab attention. So if we go animations, then we go bounce in and then point one. So just for that first frame. So that's what I do. And for the first frame, I actually add animation as well. I do zoom one. And that hopefully grabs attention as well. I generally make this a bit shorter as well. And what I can do, I'll usually add a sound effect. So if we go to audio, sound effects, deep whoosh, drag that on. And as you can see, it's longer than the transition. So I'll usually make it shorter. And if I drag this dial here, then I can adjust it so it's quite short, drag it to the front, and this is what it'll sound like. So that's what I do to try to grab attention a little bit more on the first frame. Lastly, the last thing we can do is add emojis. So emojis, whatever caption you have, if you command C, command V, so you get the exact same length of that caption, then delete it, control, command, spacebar, or just search up whatever emoji you want to use on Google. Say I want a food emoji, say this one, and I remove apply to all because I'm going to make it larger. If not, all the captions will be, become larger. Let's make the size a bit bigger. Drag it here. And that's what I could do. Say I want a high emoji here. Again, command C, command V, search up a wave emoji. Make it larger. Make it here. You can even animate that slightly. Hi. Hi. And I could even add a sound effect like a cheek pop. And I'll just make the volume lower. Hi. I'm Dr. Hi. So it's not so obnoxious. So you can play around with all these emojis and animations and find your own style with text. So that's pretty much all I do for short form content for health professionals. I do this for the entire clip. So my name is Junius. I'm a fifth year medical student in New Zealand and I help professionals grow an online presence. And if you are a health professional, if you'd like short form or even long form content, any sort of video editing outsourced, please send me a message on Instagram or an email. My contact information will be down below. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you. If you have any more video recommendations, please give it to me. And yeah, for more content like this, you know what to do. See you in the next one.